Well, Lish, you've been in, involved in some really great, really thrilling games on this ground, but you've never been involved in one so dominant. How, how do you feel after that one? Yeah, really ecstatic. Um, it's, it's given us a good, a good chance to, to get into this quarterfinal, and you know we, we know the latter part of this tournament is so crucial, and we, we started uh, off nicely now. Yeah, and. At the end of the power play, one wicket down, it was looking quite good, then there was two quick wickets that fell. How important was it for, for you and Hader at the time just to kind of get yourselves in and, and re-establish that, uh, that stability? Yeah, over the years, Chesterfield's been quite a slow starting ground and you catch up towards the end. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably a little bit abnormal that, you, that, we, that we got 210, but you know we, we were looking around 160, 170 to be a good score. Um, Hader gave a lot of impetus in, in that partnership and um, you know that sort of gave us momentum going into the last 10 overs. Um, so yeah, a lot of credit to him. He made it look unbelievably easy on a tough wicket, and then Kesti at the end there, you know, from the word go, basically struck it beautifully. So yeah, there's some prom promising signs. And then with the ball, obviously we we, we started uh, on the front foot. We packed the first punch, and that's exactly what we've been uh, asking this whole tournament: is to, you know, with the power play, that we we make the first move. And I thought the guys did, uh, did that brilliantly against a, a you know a, a, a pretty much a star star started lineup. Yeah, and I think it was something like 93 runs in the last 5.3 overs of that innings. You've done it a couple of times now, uh, Edge Baston as well. Do you see yourself kind of as made for that look that finisher role? It's definitely something I'd like to get better at. Um, you know, I still see myself as a number three, four batter. Um, but you know, I, I like to be at, there at the end because I, I feel like once I'm in, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll dominate. Um, but I've, I've just not really given myself enough chance during the season. But you know, luckily it's, it's come off today, and you know, at, and, and at Birmingham, there's a lot for me to learn there. You know, you know, although I've played 100 games, it, you know, you still learn every single game. Um, you know, and next week it might be someone else. It's just it's good to see that all the guys are are contributing in the different games. Yeah, and just on the bowlers, I mean, it was an unbelievable start with the ball. But when you finish an innings the way that yourself and Guesty did, there must be that little bit in the back of your mind that goes, "Is it getting easier to play on?" So for the bowlers to step up and take wickets quickly, that was that was a real show of intent, wasn't it? Absolutely. You can easily, after that, just sort of uh, rest on your laurels and. We, we definitely didn't do that. You know, Thomas set the tone there. You know, not having Watt here today is a massive loss, but you know, Thomas stepped in brilliantly, showed a lot of presence, and that's exactly what we want. Um, and, and the rest of the boys followed him. Yeah. And looking ahead, there's there's two away games, two home games left. It's a great start, but we're going to have to get at least three wins out of four, aren't we? But you'll take real confidence into those last four. Absolutely. The, the last four games are crucial for us. I, I think three out of four wins, and we, we've got a really good chance looking at quarterfinals. We'll obviously love to have four out of four, but you know, that, like that's why tonight's win was so important because four out of five sounds a lot harder to get than three out of four. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to take it game by game and uh, yeah, take the momentum that we got. Yeah. Yeah, and lastly, I mean, just a word for the atmosphere at Queen's Park. It really does become an intimidating one, doesn't it, for the opposition? How much now do you want to take that back to Derby for our two remaining home games? Yeah, we're so fortunate to play in front of a crowd like this here at Chesterfield. Um, yeah, we, need, we definitely need to have a word if we can maybe have more games here. It's, it's such a great play, uh, place for us to play and it's becoming a little bit of a fortress for us. Um, but yeah, like you said, it's so crucial for us to go back in our derby and play with that same intensity um, like we have been here at Chesterfield. Yes, thank yeah, you. Congratulations. Stevie.